Yo, what's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to my dashboard. Oh, the home screen on my PC. It looks great, doesn't it? That's not why you're here. You are here for <laughs> some Bucks County PA. Well, unfortunately, we are moving everything over to the new version. I have been playing on the old version for about a week longer than it's been released. Yeah, little bit. So let's go down Bucks County. We are going to go ahead and download this map and we're gonna go into the files. We're gonna go into the I3D and we are going to change up some things and make it so that the map is gonna be a little bit easier to use for us, for my plans down the road. We're ready to go, so let's click out of there. Let's go into downloads and we'll see it right here. One thing I do want to do is we're going to go ahead and extract the files. There's a few things that we need to do. We need to go into the farms, which we could probably do that in game and be totally fine. Um, and we're going to need to move over vehicles and that kind of thing. But we're going to need a file there to begin with. But here we're going to change two things. We're going to change the I3D. So we're actually going to go into Giants Editor and we need to change up the BGA. So I've got to find that first up. I don't know where it is, man. Maybe it's in objects. Maybe not. So we found it. It's in placeables. It is in selling stations and BGA. I know it's around here somewhere. We want to go in here. So we're going to edit with notepad plus plus. In here, we're going to be able to find some of the things that we want because we're going to be doing cows and eventually we're going to be doing pigs. So we need a lot. See this right here? 50,000, that is not enough. Not even close to being enough, as a matter of fact. We are going to make this 1 million <laughs> liter capacity. And we're going to make it, let's see, 10,000 liters every second, 100,000. 100,000 is probably plenty, to be completely honest with you. And then we're going to do exactly the same thing here. So, 1 million liters. Yeah, we could do 10 million, probably. But... <laughs> doing 100,000 liters at 10 seconds and this will be ready to go. We're going to do the same thing here. Just add some zeros and be good. Ba-boom. There you go. So silage, grass, windrow, and uh, gr dry grass winter. That's grass and that is hay. And then you've got manure that can go in there as well. And then liquid manure has its own as well. So you've got that there. Now we need to figure out the Digestate silo. So how many liters per second it drops out? Usually 5,000 is more than enough, like way more than enough. So that's going to be fine. Capacity. Uh, normally I make this around like 10 million liters because I don't know when I'm going to be in there to get it. <laughs> sometimes I sell it right away. Sometimes I wait. So usually, but that is pretty much everything that you need to do here. I don't want to change like what it can hold and what it could do. I just want to change like how much it takes it to do that. So we'll save the game. Now I'll save the game <laughs> playing notepad plus plus. I see that with, <laughs> with people all the time. Otherwise, everything else is good. Not worried about it whatsoever. So now that we've got that, we now need to find the maps I3D. I think that it's this one. I could be wrong. Let's see, let's, I guess I could just double click on it. Um, I think this is it. We'll find out and see. There's a lot to all of this that I don't really know about. Oh, it is it. Is there a new version? There is a new version. I don't want to, I don't want to mess with it just yet. All right. So we are in and we've got a whole lot going on. And to be completely honest with you, I don't know what a lot of this is, what it does. All I know is I can click on stuff and make it delete. So here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna go around, there's some trees that we need to get rid of. Also, some people have been asking how to get rid of this right here. So I could actually just click and delete. So that may be something that you guys want to do or that you may want to do. Um, when you go into seasons, you may have a few issues with that. So just heads up with that. I like the house that's there. I don't see there's any reason to change that house up or anything like that. So uh, I like having that there. But you know what? Just for fun, we might see. Let's see. Let's angle down. Let's click this. Let's 
you know, just a... Ah, uh, nah, I can't do it myself. There are trees, though. There are trees that we need to get rid of. In here, for example, if we go in, there are these little trees. Oop, that is under the map here. There's these little trees that are kind of irritating. These guys right here. I don't want that there. <laughs> um, actually, that one's probably fine. There's there's a lot of them over here. Let's see. Let's go around. So through here, there's a lot of logging that I would want to do in this area right here. And so I want to make sure that all of these trees can be deleted. This is one of those trees where we're just going to have to delete that. Let's see. Let's, let's go up just a little bit so we can kind of see what's going on here. And then... See if we can move around. Nope, not for some reason the mouse isn't working. So I'm just going to go through and I'm going to find these little trees like this and just click delete because at the end of the day, that's kind of all it takes is just hitting delete on those trees. We'll leave these up through here. I think that's going to be fine, but most of these around here will get deleted just so whenever we come around to actually using this area, we don't have to worry. It doesn't look like there are any of those trees around here. So this is good. This is good. Looking around. All right. I don't see any more over here. So I'm cool with that. Let's make our way back over. Also, you're probably going to see around like, DJ, there's there's no placeables. Exactly. Uh, in Giants Editor and stuff, there's no placeables down. Those are, those are done uh, separately, I believe. Actually, don't don't know anything about that, but there you go, nonetheless. So, uh, there's that. We've got these areas. You can see the lights and everything. It's a really, really neat kind of place. It's, it's kind of cool seeing a map with this kind of look and everything to it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around, see if there's anything else here and there. There was only a few, and I believe maybe those were... It, maybe that was all I needed to do, but I'll take a look and see if there's anything else that we need to do while we're in here because we can only do this once. While we're at it, we'll go ahead and take out the trees that we would have to delete. Uh, we did make this big grass or this field a big grass field, and there's just some trees that are in the way, and they were not here in the version that we had because we went in and deleted them. However, we 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 don't want these here. <laughs> so let's see let's delete those uh let's see let's get a eye from the sky i don't see any other ones that will give us issues through here this is all areas where we would dr be driving through so uh these trees are cool being there eventually it'd be nice to figure out how to delete this whole area but I, i'm <laughs> that is beyond dj i'll be honest with you guys that is beyond me uh one thing that I didn't do, or that I did do rather, in the last one that I don't want to do here is these trees right in here. These are some trees that I'm fine with these being here. And and it works well with this whole area right here. And I just made this whole area one thing. And I kind of am going back on it now and saying like, ah, that was maybe not the best thing to do. But maybe these three here, just or these four rather, Getting rid of these might make it a little bit easier to make this whole area cohesive. So my field would come around and then back down through there. Not too bad. Okay. I dig it, man. I dig it. All right. Let's go back through. Let's see if there's anything else that I need to make before we actually start our game. I am going to delete some things that are around in the main area. You see, we've got decorations and stuff. And and the, the decorations are great. But the thing is, like, even, even this... Uh, the fuel state, well, the fuel point, I can leave that there. But there's other stuff like all this. If I were to ever sell the building and would want to change that up, oop, going a little bit too much here. Uh, if I were to ever change this up, I would want to, yep, there we go. I would want this stuff to not be here. So uh, trying to do that, there we go, there's that. And then that might be the last one. Looks like that's it. Okay, nice and cleaned up. Ooh, got a little bit over here next to where the cow pasture is. So a few things here. Um, and it's not that, again, I like that these are here, but if I'm going to do this and we're going to do this for a while, 
there's things that man I just kind of don't want around or don't need around, such as these guests right here. I have my own purchase areas for stuff, so I don't need those things being there. Let's see. Let's clip around through here. Little things like that. I'm cool with that. I'm all right with that. I think that's everything on the main farm right through here. I think that's everything through here. We do have these trees here. Some people like them around the silo. Some people don't. I'm fine with them. I don't really care either way. Uh, one thing that you may want to do is get rid of them because eventually maybe you'd want to put down a larger silo. Uh, but for us, I mean, it comes with the big silo. So these are totally cool here. Let's go take a look at some of the other farms around because we are going to expand. Let's take a look at those and see if there's anything we need to do there. So I've got everything saved and we are done. Now we can actually go in here. We can send to compress zip. And all we got to do is sit here and wait for this to happen. Shouldn't take too long. Uh, computer's pretty darn powerful, so it should run this pretty quick. And then we can finally get into the game and set everything that we want to do. So you can see we've got everything kind of Labeled out, everything's looking good right there. Let's go ahead and change this to the exact name, which is going to be FS19 underscore Bucks County, not country. We did a map called country the other day. Dear country. All right, so now we're going to take this. Yes, this. Very scary to think about. And we are going to take it into mods. Oof. Um, hold on just one second. We're going to back this up. Uh, Bucks. Let's do this. So preview, that's actually the new version. So we can take that and delete that altogether. And then this version right here, this needs to be saved. So I need to put this probably somewhere that it's going to stay safe. Let's put that in custom mods. That'll be perfectly fine. Now we go back to our downloads, Bucks County, drop it into our mod folder. Come out of here. Yeah, we'll just oh, uh, replace file and destination. Sure. Now we can come in here, load up Farming Simulator, and start our new game. Yeah, <laughs> or at least load up the old one. One nice thing about being able to see everything in advance, you can see the, num the money right here, uh, 2.29 million. So 2.29 million. We're just going to put that down. We'll just do some kind of thing. 19.5, almost 20 hours played on that game save. Very cool, very cool. All right, so we'll go into here. We'll go into career mode. We will find ourselves some Bucks County PA. There we go, right there. We'll click in. We'll make sure that the exact mods that we want to use are installed on this. And then we will go through the process of purchasing the land that we had and going through and doing some other things as well. We still have to purchase land. We have to get animals. We have to make sure they're good. We had a lot of animal food, like a ton of animal food. We need to make sure that we've still got all that. So we turn off straw harvest and we turn off out of realism vehicles, but we keep the dynamic dirt because I like the way that everything looks with that. Buy used equipment. We're going to leave that turned on. We're going to go down to maze plus. I need to make sure that maze plus is turned off since we're using seasons and then every other mod that I have installed should <clears throat> should be good to go. So now we just wait for this to load up. We need to make sure that we get a default kind of setup and we also need to go around and make sure that the changes that we made are okay because right now we are now currently on the version that we just modified. So we took away some of the placeables, we took away some of the trees, we took away a few things here and there. So we want to make sure that all of those things that we did, all of those changes that we made in the i3d file, make sure those actually occurred. And once we left, I did go ahead and delete all of the trees that are around the silo because you never know. Maybe one day we want to delete all of the placeables and do it again. <laughs> Not likely, but hey, may want to do that. All right. Spring is here. Blah, 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 blah. Cool. All right, we're in. Um... It looks like all the placeables that we deleted are gone, which is good. The fuel should still be here, which it is. And all of the, what quote unquote, some people would call rubbish is gone as well. And the trees are gone around this, which is absolutely perfect. Let's go up into the air and we'll double check. Should be no trees in here. Yeah. Hey, I think we're good. I think we are very good. Now, there was one thing that I couldn't figure out. 
and it was like field 82 or something like that in the setup. So I'm going to go in here, farmland, I want to buy, is it 82? There is an 82, but it won't let me buy 82. Can I sell 82? I can sell 82. So what is 82? That must be 82. Yep, value zero. That must be 82. What I want is like this area right here. I don't know how to do that stuff. You're modern, you know how to do that. Let me know. And hopefully it doesn't require me to not have... Yikes, new game save. But it looks like everything worked. Looks like everything is good. I'm happy. I am quite happy and ecstatic that everything worked the way that I wanted it to work. So now we get the joys of... <laughs> Putting everything down like we wanted to. So, first and foremost, let's... Uh, we're just going to leave the equipment. Don't need any of that. We are going to literally copy and paste all of our equipment from our old game save, which should plop in. So, what we need is... Let's see. This area, we could just... Yeah, we can cheat in some money. It'll be all right. There we go. That's good. We need to buy this area right here. So, we're going to buy that. And I don't think we actually owned anything else. I think that was it. Let's select this just to make sure. Oh, yeah, and we own that area as well. But I think that was it. This is the area right here that I kind of want to go to next. Big, be a nice grass field. But I believe that was it. That was all that we had. Very good, very good, very good. Okay, now we save. We're going to back, uh, save again just to make sure. We're going to back out and quit, check and see which save game this is, check and see what our old save game was, and then we've got to check out money. I'm sure there's probably a quicker, way better way to do what I'm doing, but this this works. works for me, so that's all that matters to me. Is it works. We're good. It is what it is. I have decided how, to, uh, how I'm going to handle all of this. So we're going to have all our equipment, all of our money, but we're basically starting like we're starting a brand new save, so it'll be year one be the exact exact amount of time so we come through here we are on save game seven so um i'm gonna write this down on a separate screen new number seven old is number nine perfect how many hours do we have on that we had 19 hours 19.54 hours i wonder if it's gonna let me put that in there or not we'll find out so here's where we get to have some more fun with xml work so what I'm going to do is we are going to go into Farming Simulator 19, which if you don't know how to get there, it is this PC, Documents, Games, Farm Sim 19. We need to take from... Actually, we, we need to do a couple of these. Hold on, let's, let's put that there. And then let's see, let's open a new window. Okay, so old is going to be on the left. New is going to be on the right. Save game seven. Oop, backwards. Sorry, this is maybe not the best time to be recording right now, but nonetheless, I think this is important to show you guys how you can do this. You can easily do this. So first thing we want to do is the vehicles. So I want to take from save game nine and put them on save game seven. So here's what I'm going to do. We're going to go in here and we're going to edit with notepad plus plus. This should be a very straightforward copy and paste type of thing. So as you can see, we're all good here. We have our correct things. We know what vehicles are, Bucks County, blah, 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 blah. All good. All right. So let's go from all of this. Copy our vehicle folder. Then we want to go here into our new one. We're going to open this with Notepad++. We're going to select all and paste. Cool beans. Cool beans. Plus, we have the backup save in case anything goes wrong. So, we've done vehicles. Vehicles are done. Now, we need to go into... See where it says career save game. We're going to go into here into the old one. We're going to take a look and see if there's anything that we need copy and paste. Because I would like it to continue to say you know, how many hours we had and that type of thing. So I actually have found where we can do that playtime right here. I'm going to copy that, and then we're gonna go into the same thing over here, career save game. I'm gonna edit with Notepad++. And you can see right here, barely anything at all. We're just gonna copy that in. I would, <laughs> it's work, man. It's work that I've put into this. So I want it to, to, to show. I want it to actually 
look like I've done that. Um, now, as far as the rest of this goes, I think we're good. I don't think we need to do anything else. Everything is pretty good. Store deliveries, that's fine. We'll reset that. Trees and vehicles. We already did vehicles. So kind of everything that I wanted to do has been done. So that's actually really easy stuff. You can just go into save games and mess with that. So now let's go back into the game. We'll go into our save game folder and we'll double check and make sure that those things worked and that those things were accurate. And then we will continue along with putting all of the new stuff onto the new save. Nice. And it has, you can see we've got our 19.54 hours on here. We're going to go ahead and click into this, continue. And um, from here, be very, very easy to do the rest of it. Uh, we're going to buy all the cows. We're going to buy all the chickens. We are going to load in 500,000 liters of silage, 500,000 liters of hay. Um, similar amount of TMR, maybe. We will take a look and see, because I did have quite an extensive amount of stuff left over. So I want to make sure that I'm not cheating myself in any way, shape, or form. But, you know, we still have stuff to do at the end of the day. So I think what we'll do is maybe half a million of sil or silage, half a million of hay, and, um, and we'll do maybe half a million liters of straw. I don't think we need that much straw, but we'll, we'll take a look and we'll see exactly what we need to do there. That way, we can make some nice TMR, or we could just do one million liters of TMR overall and be done. We'll see how much we can put over here. All right, man. So all of our equipment is in here. One thing, uh, our fertilizer spreader is a little farther back than it was. But uh, you know what? I think, you know, we'll, we'll just take it from there. But everything else seems to be doing pretty well. We've got all of our stuff in here. We have the uh, sprayer right there. Should have a combine right there, which we do. All of our equipment rocking through here looking just fine. See, we're okay. Yeah, we're all right. Uh, we do have a few placeables that we need to put down, but other than that, I think it'll be okay. We even have all of our eggs here, so we didn't have to worry about losing any of those. We still have our eggs. Pretty neat, huh? There is one thing that's not pretty neat, and that is going to be all of our settings. Our settings did not save, so uh, seasons introductions, we can turn those on because it helps keep me uh, up to date. Crop moisture, we're going to turn that off. I have no interest in keeping crop moisture turned on ever. And then I'm going to go through here and turn a few things. Weed, I turn off. Lime, periodic plowing, I'll turn that off. You have to do it all the time anyway, so <laughs> whatever. Uh, do all that fuel usage. We'll keep that at default. Stop and go braking on. Automatic engine start off. Dirt fast. Traffic on. Economic difficulty. Easy time scale. Real time. And we are actually going to change this up. So we're going to change this to main... Let's play, because it is. Save the game. Yeah, all right. So now we've done all that. We still need animals. We still need a lot of animals. So we're gonna go through here. Uh, we are going to get 100 cows. That's right, a hundo cows. And then we're gonna get 500 chickens. And uh, I'm gonna pause time, so hopefully we don't like kill anybody or anything, because we still need food. So we're gonna have to do all that as well. Confirm. All right. How much food does it say they need per year? It does not. Ooh, wrong one. Uh, 558,000. So I think a million liters would be beneficial. We'll do half a million. Actually, this does 1 million liters total in here, doesn't it? I think it does. Moving on. So here's what I've decided to do. We won't need straw for anything. We don't do bedding or anything like that. So we're going to take 1 million liters of TMR. I'm going to go ahead and give the cows what they need to get them started. There we go. So they've got everything they need to get them started on day one. And then the rest of this will go into our silo here. That way I know, okay, we've got... Oh, nice. <laughs> that way I know, all right, I've got a million liters. We're good to go. The cows are going to be happy. Everything's going to be just fine. Oh, we ran out of space there, didn't we? Yeah, we did good, buddy. Yeah, we did. Um, question to myself. Does the, does the silos have everything we put in there? Nah, nah, they got way more in there now, man. They got way more in there now. We got to empty out the silo. Um, question. 
We've got modded silos that are like lone oak silos, don't we? I tell you what we're gonna do. We're actually gonna go with the Missy B grain quid storage. So this will hold 250,000 liters of literally anything. It'll do liquid and it'll do solid, which is gonna be perfect for us storing the uh, digestate and storing any type of slurry or anything like that. So I think that's gonna be the way to go. In order to make that happen, we can actually uh, <laughs> refill this back up? I don't know. You know what? Yeah, we'll just refill this back up. I don't even care. We'll go in here. We'll put some forage in it. And then, see, such forage. There we go. Uh, that's our TMR. So we just need to go into our main area right here. Let's see. We've got different storages all around. So we'll just take this. It says it's going to sell everything for us, but that's totally okay. We know we don't have to worry about that. Now, the thing about Missy B's tank and her storage here is it doesn't hold as much as we need to. It actually holds like 500,000 liters less than we need it to hold. But I'm not too concerned about that because I got a game plan for that. So let's see. Let's put this about right in here. I think that's good. I want to make sure that it's similar to what we had but out of the way enough to where we've got room to move around back and forth and that kind of thing and even room to kind of pull in and pull out of it so maybe about right there yeah i think that'll uh i think that'll be just about fine click it show sure enough now we need some extensions so we've got two hundred and fifty thousand liter uh on our liquid but we're gonna need more than that so let's put in let's see one to, so that's 750,000 liters of liquid. And keep in mind, we're going to get a lot of it. There's going to there's gonna be a little bit. Uh, let's see. Let's actually go in. Let's put some extensions on for our grain real quick. Uh, let's see. Liquid si Oh, yeah. Forgot about her liquid silo as well. She's got a massive, massive liquid silo. There's a, Man, there's just so much goodness that we could do here there's so much man uh but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use some of these small extensions right here these are million liter extension so they're d d large but not not too crazy <laughs> i don't know uh they're 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 big enough how about that and i'm gonna put one on either side so these are gonna give us a total of 2.25 million liters in the silo itself i don't think we've clipped anything nope and then on top of that we're gonna put two more of these smaller liquid silos on the outside that way we can hold water we can hold uh well all the things every every liquid in game these will hold which is very nice so we'll put that there we'll put one of these over here Boop. may not look pretty but hey it's gonna work and it's gonna be perfect for us there we go. All right, so we've got those put in. That's gonna make at least storage for everything much simpler and much easier as well. So we'll come here, we'll dump this. That shouldn't take long to dump out. <laughs> I didn't think about this either. How long is it gonna take to fill back up? Because with this holding so much, oh, let's find out. Let's go in here and let's see if we can find TMR again, which it should have, I mean, it took it. It's not, it's not mega fast, but it's not slow. So that's okay. I'm, I'm all right with that. All right. So I don't think we need this anymore. So we can do something with this. I don't <laughs> sell it. <laughs> yeah, we could probably sell this. We don't actually need this anymore. There we go. So we're, we've gotten rid of that. What else do we need to do? Buy chickens, of course. How could I forget? Let's see. I believe we wanted the white leghorn. Um, bird of choice for eggs are your top priority. Yeah. So we want 500 of these bad boys, and then we will determine what uh, or how much food they're going to need because eventually we're going to have to come in here and do our own sourcing of food. Also, we need to put new silos around the map as well. Uh, there's at least one area I know that we need to put a new silo on. That's up at the pig farm. That has some stuff there, but we need to change it up. We need to do something different with it. Let's get these... Uh, chickens and then we'll figure out how much food that we need to put in our silo i know that we ended with none we just kind of had to keep buying it but if we would have continued 
we would have had more, we wouldn't have had to keep buying it. So that's that's how I'm justifying. It's saying that they're gonna take 44,000 liters in a year. And I look at that and say, okay. Oh yeah, I forgot water. <laughs> I forgot water for the cows. We've got a new Miss EB tanker for that as well. Um, that way we can kind of just set it and forget it, do that kind of thing. Uh, we're gonna come through here and we're gonna do two loads of wheat. Wheat only, by the way, no barley in here wheat only so this will be our first dump we'll do one more dump and then that'll be what forty-four thousand liters i know that those chickens are going to use more than that every animal uses more than it says that it does especially in seasons since um generally that is a uh, rough estimate from where it is so wheat wheat we'll dump that and then that'll be actually <laughs> we need to feed them don't we we'll go ahead and take this over there and get them fed tell you what too this little Maxim has been killing it. It is an awesome little tractor for this map, especially doing little jobs. Yeah, the, this trailer's a little bit heavy for it, even on flat ground, and I can't brake very well with it, but it's still pretty cool. It should fill up fairly quickly. As it does, you can see our chickens have 6,700 liters right there. They're gonna eat through half of that in a day, by the way. Um, and we've got three day seasons on. So I think that's there. That's good. Uh, next is going to be the silo at the pig farm. Here we are. We got our farm silo here. What we're going to do is we're going to take this. We're going to sell it. And we're going to replace it. Uh, let's see. Green silo. Just make sure it's the right one. Yep. That's it right there. So it is now gone and we're going to replace that with something that, uh, well, holds everything. That way we can do pig food over here if we really want to, that kind of thing. We'll go through, we'll take a look. There's a couple different ones that we can place down. Uh, these are kind of the ones I'm looking at right here. You see small multi-fruit silo holds 100,000 liters. Not too bad. Not as much as I want it to, to be fair, actually. Can we do a smaller Missy B one? Small storage, 150,000 liters. Um, and it does all the things. Let's move this over. Also, I didn't realize these little silos that were on the ends, those are actually like buying stations for seeds and fertilizer and stuff. So there's a chance I may have to go back and put those back in because that that is fairly important, I would say. Uh, yeah, very, very fairly important. Speaking of, this is important as well. Let's put that like right there. I don't really care if trees are clipping through. It's, it's not on my list of priorities. So there's that. We do need to smooth that out because that's going to give us a little bit of a problem. Nothing crazy, but it's going to be a bit of an issue when coming through, especially if we hit that and it goes boom. So we'll just make sure that everything's smoothed out around it and good. Okay. So now we've got this. We're good to go here. We're good to go over on the other side. I think... That might just be everything that we need. Well, after a little bit of decoration and trying to take care of the place a little bit, I think that is going to be it for today. Join us the next time we're here because we're going to be back in action. We're going to have to redo a few things. We're going to have to get our first crops in the ground. It's back to normal, baby. We are back in action and we're going to have $2.29 million dollars figure out what to do with but between now and then i hope you enjoyed today and hope you learned something i hope this was good for you if you did make sure you drop a like get subscribed to the channel if you're new join the go ham fam make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel i'll be set hope you have a great day we'll see you later peace